we're, we're pregnant. pregnant hey y'all welcome back to another video you guys we cannot believe we're sitting down to make this video this is a long time coming and i know you guys have so many questions you guys want to know all the details of everything so we're going to try to go over as much as we can with you guys and if you guys have any questions that we don't answer in this video make sure you guys comment those down below so we can make sure to answer those for you guys <laughs> so we're pretty much going to talk about like our timeline it's going to be very brief but you don't want to miss any part because everything is going to make sense in the end and as you guys can see i am like I'm pretty pregnant so I know you're like wait what the heck like she must be pretty far along which I am so we're gonna go through all of that for you guys you guys are gonna go crazy because like the alignment yeah this is about to this be. is like crucial for the alignment of how we are here and how we're pregnant and it is just like like literally God is amazing it, it's like almost like, like it wouldn't have happened like yeah, you guys will see you yeah guys will yeah see. okay yeah, you, you guys will see all right so earlier in this year um it was my birthday in march and um you know around march we have my birthday and we have our anniversary on the 21st mm -hmm. so it's a lot going on in that month alone um and at the same time my little brother he had to move in with me and i talked about it a lot on snapchat because um i don't know i just didn't really want to go out of my way to share it it was kind of just like in the flow but anywho he had to live with us mm -hmm. and um he's been living with us now for like about what like six, six months, months seven no longer six to seven months like almost eight months i think yeah, right yeah 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 like and seven months mm -hmm. yeah and um so at the time right he moves in with us and i guess we were like we were just taken back by that like we were shocked we were excited but also like this is new for us yeah right? and he actually was supposed to move in with us like two weeks mm -hmm. i think before um justice's birthday his birthday is march 4th yeah so he was supposed to move in with this two weeks before his birthday but it ended up getting pushed back a little bit yeah he ended up coming the week of justice's birthday so we were planning to go on a birthday trip for you and everything. we ended up we were like you know what we want to be home like while we get him settled in and everything yeah so to add to that like i had to help him move stuff in yeah i had to also so he he ended up moving into my man cave so i had to clean my man cave out as well as like do other stuff to prepare um so it ended up making more sense because that same week he was moving in so we pushed pretty much everything back yeah pretty yeah, much yeah pretty much. which made it very easy because like it would have sucked to leave and then like leave it up to him yeah too, you know yeah. and so um we were like we'll feel better if like we get settled in and everything yeah and yeah so that ended up working out fast forward two weeks later like two and a half weeks later it was our wedding anniversary so our wedding anniversary is march 21st 21st, 21st yeah. so our wedding anniversary is march 21st so you know the weeks were coming by we we're like okay this is now gonna be like a better time for us to go so it was kind of like we were we were like oh this is perfect though because we could celebrate our wedding anniversary as well as justice's birthday because the dates are so close which we might actually start doing that because, might be nice yeah, yeah. it, it, it kind of makes sense because like, it's like we literally to... would get back from a trip and then have to leave somewhere again which is yeah. fun but it's like you know you can make the moment out of both so um we ended up coming march 20 like around march 21st i think it was like two days before or something like that and we were here about a week when we went on our anniversary trip and birthday my birthday trip mm -hmm. we left the question with little bro we said if you want to go let us know mm -hmm. if you don't it's fine mm -hmm. it's no hard feelings um and he ended up wanting to come right yeah so we ended up giving him like enough time for while we were on the trip to let us know we got back we asked him he was like yeah i want to we go we were hella excited we were so happy we we're like yes we wanted him to come so bad yeah. we were like this is experience. gonna be such a great experience for him so yeah. that was like that was literally the icing on the cake so we were back from saint martin like the last day of march and we were going to be moving at the end of april so you know we were in the motion of packing and everything we we're getting everything together sorting out like travel plans because obviously we have two dogs we had to make sure that nocta was registered as a service animal so we could travel in the aircraft there was just like a lot of like little things that go into it that we had to do so within all that planning comes april 17th <laughs> and you know what you guys this is like this is just so crazy but like so came april 17th is when we took our test um well i took a pregnancy test all right y'all my heart is racing so i'm about to take a pregnancy test and i am six days late on my period and i'm always let's just say i'm always like a few days late on my period 
but I will say I have never been like a week late so I'm about to take a pregnancy test because Justice and I both think that I'm pregnant and I'm really nervous he just left to go take the dogs out but like I'm really nervous because bro it has not been easy getting pregnant like at all so I'm just like a little scared to like take it and I'm shaking oh my god but he thinks I am and then I'm like I kind of feel like I am too like a week late is crazy There's no way. It says in three minutes. Should I wait? I don't believe this. There's no way. She's gonna be a mom. And I had told Justice like a few a few days before we were like, I'm always late on my period. Like I'm always like one, two, three, four. I, I've been five days late. So once I hit like was it like that fourth mm -hmm. day? Late? It was. It was like the the like the maximum you've ever been. Yeah, I think it was like five days late, yeah. and I was like babe like i might be pregnant so we were like kind of questioning it but we were like you know what let's give it some more time right so it came to a week late and we were like he well he said it the morning of the day that we took the test i'll let you explain yeah i was just like like i don't know i just felt it it like it was you know there there have been times where she was like like babe have faith because we had we we kind of been trying and i'm not yeah. gonna lie you guys are gonna if you guys want a video about that like that whole journey comment down below yeah but this time it just felt like there was no it's been years there was no no i'm like it's been years yeah. of trying it's been years of trying i just i felt it so from that morning i'm like i'm like yeah babe you're pregnant i just know it i yeah. feel it and at the same time he said that i was like i was happy that he felt that but at the same time i'm like Every time I've taken a test, there's been moments where like I'll take the test and literally my period will come that day. And I was just like, oh my gosh, like I will feel so stupid if I take the test and then like my period comes. So I kind of wanted to like prolong it a little bit, but he was so certain about it. And another thing is, which is so crazy, I didn't realize this till after I took the test, was that a week before I had a dream I was breastfeeding a baby at a dinner we were like at a family dinner like we were all out to dinner yeah and i was breastfeeding a baby but i didn't i didn't remember the dream until after i had taken the test for like those last two days before i took the test i would like look up like symptoms because like obviously they're like kind of related to period symptoms so i was like yeah mm. my boobs hurt like this and that yeah but there was one that stood out and it was like your nipple color will be darker and i looked in that mirror and it was like i think we were getting ready for the gym yeah we we're getting ready for this. i looked in the mirror and i was like my heart dropped i was like oh my god i think this is real yeah. like i never seen my nipples was I, able to before. Tell? I don't know i don't, I don't think, think I so i don't even think i showed you because i was just like i was just so it was like, like a weird it was like a weird like i was changing yeah. and then i was like 
I was on like peeing or whatever on yeah. my phone and I looked and then like I was like no fucking way yeah I was like I've never seen them this yeah. color before it was like a like, myth but you didn't want to tell me just yeah in case, just yeah. in case so we ended up like going to the gym like we went about our yeah. morning pretty much yeah. right yeah and then um we decided to go I door dashed a test so Kayla asked me if she should order a test and I'm like mm -hmm. yeah order a test she would have just kind of treated it like any other late period and yeah. I was just like no Honey, order a test. I'm gonna take the dogs out, give you your space. Mm -hmm. Me and Lil Bro are gonna take the dogs out, mm -hmm. give you your space. So if you have any emotion, bad or good, you have the room to express it. Yeah. All right. For for sure. Yeah. So um, we door dashed the test, or whatever, and then he ended up taking the dogs out with his brother, and I took the test. After so long of trying, like the timing of it was perfect. Like you guys, I was fertile. I was ovulating on our two-year anniversary while we were in St. Martin celebrating his birthday and our anniversary. So baby was conceived here. Well, by the way, I didn't, I don't think we told you guys we're in St. Martin. Right now. Yeah. But baby was celebrating our baby. Yeah. Moon. Having our baby moon. We're so excited to be yeah. here. And yeah, baby was conceived here. And it's like so mind blowing that on our two-year wedding anniversary, yeah. like that's when our baby that's a blessing it's a blessing I like know. god's timing is so perfect yeah. and so i like showered real quick i put my like try to put myself together even though right when he got home he suspected something because he thought I, he knew i was going to take the test but i was like you know what i want him to think i didn't take it i brought him in the bathroom and then right there he doesn't really want to show bro i was up. like ah, you don't understand like all that like imagine like fellas like like fellas you if you can relate like let me know you you don't even got a comment just dm me like when you find out or like you've been trying for something and like you finally get it like you know what i'm saying like i cry about that like it's not to me it's just like i couldn't even like fathom how blessed i felt it was a vulnerable my heart situation. yeah like my heart was just so pure in that moment and like wide open that I can never have a moment like that again. Yeah. Like that moment was just like, wow, like my nut works. <laughs> Wait, can I say that? You could leave it of anything. Guys, don't forget, we're literally moving to Miami in two weeks from April 17th. Yeah, so this whole we, moment. We find out we're pregnant and we're like, holy shit, we're about to move across the United States. Like what in the world? Like God's timing, I swear, is crazy because you would never think, right? So we're like, what are we going to do? That was like our first thought. And then our second thought was like, why? Like there wasn't really fear, but you do have like a second where you question. You're like, are we supposed to be going? You know what I mean? So we were just like, you know what? This is meant to be like, if we're getting pregnant now after trying for years, this is where our path is supposed to go. Mm -hmm. And so we just continue that flow, which I think is important for you guys to know to do is like, some things may come up and it may make things scary, but it's important to remember that that's a part of your journey. Like it is in line in that order for a reason. So we were so excited to tell our family. We were like, you know what? We have to tell them before we leave. So we ended up telling them like that week we found out. And then even they were like, wait, are you guys still going to Miami? And so that was like a whole nother we were being journey tested. for us. We were yeah. being tested. Like for sure. imagine all your family and a lot of y'all may have very tight knit families and some of you don't but the people who do care about you imagine they're like why would you still do this with what you have going on mm -hmm. and for us we were just like my mom was like you can't move yeah, to miami yeah. i'm like we can't remember but what was i saying like i kept saying how yeah i want to raise my family somewhere where i could learn pretty like i don't i wanted to learn on my own i i'm like yeah. one of those people who like to to mess up without anybody like pointing a finger yeah and, and i and i will say like even some of our friends say this about us is like we're very independent like we can go somewhere be somewhere and it be us and 
we're not needing much out of that yeah. we're able to figure things out for ourselves and i think like that's why too we were so strong about our decision because we were like there's been so many other things that we've done and like we didn't have people around to like guide us yeah but we figure it out i know she's gonna get into this deep like she had to find a doctor now. yeah i was like, like oh my gosh like doctor whole... like there was a moment where this was like more so when we first arrived to florida i was like oh my god like this is not what i imagined like I imagine having like a doctor planned already and everything and having to like switch health insurance and all this stuff like it was a little bit overwhelming but god willing we found the best and i doctor. wanted i wanted baby to be born in pasadena like that was yeah. my dream but mm -hmm. i was like you know what at the same time like wherever i go baby will be protected and and it's probably the best for baby so yeah and i think too like california is really all we know mm -hmm. and it's like you mm -hmm. never know what no, be. I was thinking about something. We love our doctor. We love Bro, she's amazing. If she's, she's watching this right now, bro, she's so amazing. She's like, literally, I've never had... She got my back. That's why I love her. She be like, Kayla, you need to be nice to Justice. You need <laughs> to does. listen. You need to like... Because uh, Kayla, obviously, like, this is all new. So, like, you got to think about a, a woman in Kayla's position, pregnant, and first kid. You're going to be, like, more attentive and more stressed out. But mm -hmm. when somebody tells you hey it's gonna be okay but go through this with your husband that that is powerful yeah and she was like very adamant on that and very man she's cool i can't wait y'all gonna see her so fast forward to now we have been living in miami five months now you guys and we've had such an amazing experience like even being pregnant and we have obviously kept this like pretty much for ourselves and our family up until now i am 28 weeks pregnant and it's just been such a beautiful journey i'm not gonna lie i kind of expected there to be a lot of like negative things about it mm. but i think because our journey has been so hard and it's taken so much time for us to get pregnant that um it's very enjoyable for me like i told him i was like i think what did I say yesterday? Oh, you said pregnancy is like your, your aesthetic. I was like, I think being pregnant is my new aesthetic. Cause yeah. like, I love it. And I'm super blessed. I've had such an amazing, easy, healthy pregnancy. I didn't have any morning sickness, did not throw up once. I was not nauseous at all. Like if I was, I was a little queasy, but then I would eat and it would go away. Um, My first trimester, I was just tired. Like I didn't work out at all. And then once I reached like my second trimester, I started working out more. I've been trying to be as active as I can because I was previously active before. So everything has been fairly easy, fairly smooth, and I'm pretty blessed. We did have like a scare in the beginning when we first moved you there. You want to talk about that? We had like a little scare. I don't really want to talk about it. But yeah. Um, yeah, we did have like two instances where, you know, we were a little bit scared. But um thank god it was nothing serious i'm so grateful and yeah it's just like now we are gonna you know go on with our journey we're gonna be parents y'all like yeah. we're usually the auntie and uncle and now we're about to be parents and like if, it's so crazy and if y'all watched the previous videos like a lot of y'all was saying like we weren't gonna come back and we weren't gonna make content but like you gotta think about it like we wanted to just introduce you guys to us again as a new version like we're a new version of us and we're forever changing but we want you guys to be a part of our journey and however you choose to be a part of it we appreciate you guys and we're we're so grateful and wish the best for you and your family um but this is gonna be new this is gonna be fun um it's still gonna be justice and kayla not yeah. too much baby right now yeah um i think we've like kind of decided yeah we wanna like you know keep it us and our journey together yeah. as being parents mm -hmm. have literally been with us since the beginning since literally we've been together it'll be seven years in november Crazy. and it's so crazy that we've been on youtube about that same amount of time so you guys have been rocking with us for a long time and i know you've seen every stage you've seen us dating you've seen us engaged you've seen us married and now to be parents is like it's so crazy and i know this is like you guys are the only people like we really care to share it with because y'all mean a lot to yeah, us a lot, of, mean a lot like comment us. how long you've been watching us because like our youtube like i feel like it's probably one of our like most like what like longest platform i don't know how to yeah, say that like, like our longest, longest platform yeah for yeah. sure and yeah you guys have been rocking with us for a while sorry the planes it's funny like you'll hear it but you're like where is it because they usually fly right oh, it's here going right over. oh going over yeah 
so yeah um we're just so excited to share this journey with you guys and we have some fun videos coming up yeah and comment some video ideas that you guys want us to do yes. thank you so much for watching god bless all of y'all and thank you for supporting us and let's just keep going let's keep going crazy 2024 baby's coming so yep baby's coming this year y'all yeah, you ain't waited till next year baby's coming this year <laughs> love y'all bye